I can see your screen. Awesome. I know that uh, sometimes the video doesn't actually work for YouTube. Twelve hours later. The fucking strong. It took hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of hard work. Maybe more. Done. I can't pop that one. I'm just not seeing it. I'm just not seeing what the big dealio is. I'll be right back. I need to eat food again. Oh. So let's play some paper Mario. Alright. Why? Are we What should I name my file? Wait, Gonzalez, if you can. Will that even fit? Well, oh. where did I forget how to spell Gonzalez? G O N Z A L E S. He's right. It just barely fits, look at that. Yeah. Do it, do it, do it! Hello, oh, Mario is not referred to by that name, so... Yeah, it's still funny, though. The Great Gonzales! Oh no, we haven't gotten to there yet. <laughs> and stuff working. And Luigi always reads Mario's mail. <laughs> that's a that's dangerous. He's the Mushroom Kingdom's hero and he can't read. Let's go to a party. I love all of the unique tote designs in this. Hello. Hmm? Hello. Hmm? You joined us in time for Paper Mario. Yes. Maybe I will go to the Shiver region. I recall I can't go Eventually. Yeah. 
wrong, that's the wrong button. I don't remember all of the buttons. There we go. Let's activate super spin powers. I'm sure we'll enjoy this party where nothing at all can go wrong. Yes, the uh, brand new enemies that he will encounter there. There's no enemies here. Mm. It's a packed one. I'm sure Nate Bildor is proud of you. <laughs> How dare you forget that I'm your hero. Come back here, Toad. Now it's down to Tom Jr. who weren't, and that's on your permanent record forever. <laughs> Just for that, I'm not going to save you later, when absolutely <laughs> nothing happens. We'll just do wait till I hear about this. If I recall, you can get in the Peach's room too. From her room? Oh yeah, yeah, her room. Um, you can at the end game. I forget if you can. No, right room. here. You should be able to see it on your screen. Well. I figured I would enable that so that you can actually see things. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Oh, yes. but now we don't have to deal with Twitch's delay. Exactly. Is that it's not a delay? delay? Fluffy head. I'm back. Oh, yeah, no, oh uh, what, what does our wardrobe say? What is my are beautiful, but they all look the same. This must be her favorite style of dress. Oh, I can I can actually read the text on the screen chat thing. Neat. Awesome. Mario looks fine without them. <laughs> <laughs> it's more of a Luigi Mario. thing. <laughs> it's good fluffy, that Mario but... has the self confidence. <laughs> like I don't even think you can get any of this text otherwise. What a big fireplace, and what a cozy fire. This is a lovely couch. Can it you, must uh, be just fun. check the painting at the, at the secret passage switch, or...? I tried, there it didn't actually give me the option to check the painting. Ah. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I've never oh, seen okay. the inside of her room. <laughs> it's a fun little detail, though. I like details like that. I like the snow penguins. Mm. 
<laughs> Guess we better advance the plot. What plot? A plot that's better than Sticker Star's non existent plot. Princess gets kidnapped you by. You call that plot? I get more plot out of the nutrition facts on a cereal box. Hey, those nutrition facts are important. Nobody will bother us here. Famous last words. Spoiler, you get bothered. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Whoa! Oh well, the gamepad actually vibrates from this. And the Bowser had to like work. How did he get his workers under there with nobody noticing? That's one of the questions that I have. <laughs> Maybe the shows are just like giant, really. Uh, Giant uh, spike balls that are there. You know, gotta take out those airships that will attack. I do love that it is basically the clown car, though. Yep. I like that Bowser just has this weird liking of clown aesthetics. <laughs> but only for the clown car. Yep. There's not really any other clown aesthetics that Bowser has. Spoiler, you're in space. I like though uh, one of the Smash Bros. trophies is like, the clown car is the only uh, one-man vehicle that will support Bowser's girth. Until Mario uh, 3D World. Bowser gets a car then. I did like the clown car... There were advances in Koopa science. I did like the clown car... Or he stole it from Wario. In um, Mario Kart DS. Yeah, the plane. The clown car plane. Yeah, that was cool. Wahaha. <laughs> I like the sort of lighting engine this game has. It, I do like how you can see the lighting through the windows and stuff. Yeah. I don't know if it's the lighting engine or if they just made like a whole bunch of sprites for different lighting, but it looks good. I honestly don't know. Hmm. Yeah, given it is possible to do dynamic lighting on sprites, uh, Skullgirls does a lot, but on the N64, it's probably just a bunch of individual sprites. It's a lot more limited. Yeah, it's tricky. You can never defeat Mario, I don't you give up already. There's one thing I hate, though. It's battling at the beginning of this game. Because you don't have the action commands? Or... No, we don't have timed hits yet. <laughs> it's just a slow battle. <laughs> you can't even dodge. Honest, when I was younger, I kind of thought it was the same Star Rod from Kirby. <laughs> yeah, for Mario and uh, Kirby, it's the same universe. Well, they kind of are now, thanks to Smash Bros. first overkill. It's, it's I mean, like, it totally fits Bowser's personality. It's like, why didn't he start with his fire breath, though? He really just wanted to toy with Mario.
How does the fire breath not hit Peach? Her dress okay, is probably... At the beginning of, um... Her dress is probably um, fireproof. At the beginning of Paper Jam, uh, Peach and Paper Peach put up, like, two, like, Peach dummies, which are basically just talking pieces of cardboard. And Bowser's first reaction is to fire breath them. So maybe he just thinks Peach is fireproof. Maybe she is fireproof. <laughs> well, it would I'm explain only a lot of things. Really yeah, yeah, maybe, like, after getting kidnapped so many times, like, they just had, um, the Toads engineer a completely flame-retardant dress. And a flame-retardant castle. And flame-retardant hair. I just noticed that you, if you look at the sprite on the candle, like, on the wall, mm -hmm. it's actually uh, flickering ever so slightly. Mm -hmm. I just thought those were, um, stationary. I like how the Star Spirits made one little appearance in Paper Mario and then just vanished forever. I mean, in Mario Party, and then just vanished forever. But they made one appearance. They all lost their mouths in that game, but they did come back. Yeah, I would like to see more of them. Right? Yeah. I mean, they're kind of dull, but... <laughs> they're they alright. He's they're been gravely fun. injured, but I think he'll recover. <laughs> Yeah, there was how, one how Mario Party where the Star Spirits that? and I think Wacka appeared. I want to see more Paper Mario things appear outside of Paper Mario. For the record, I will not be harming Wacka. And I get that you get the best items in the game from it, but I don't have the heart to give Wacka brain damage. <laughs> Apparently, at one point, they also wanted to make Goombella a um, party mount, party member. Or not Goombella. I forget her name. Mario's little sister. Everything concerns the princess in the Mushroom Kingdom. Thank you. 
Let's go say hello to some Goombas. are never going to recover from Mar the damage Mario wrought. <laughs> Man, Paper Mario games and the Mario RPGs in general need to, like, go back to actually giving the NPCs designs instead of just making them generic Mario enemies. Like all of these Goombas. Exactly! Look at them, they all got personality. Was he named that when he was a child? Or is this like a title you inherit? <laughs> I want to leave You have to kill the previous Goomba. <laughs> I want to leave the Goombas. title that they inherit. Well, that's uh, this is game dark. I'm back. Alright. Let's go through this nice new gate where nothing bad will ever happen to it. Ever. I give it a quick second. Oh look, it's that lady who's frickin' dead. The lady who's dead. I like Kami Koopa. Yeah, her, the, her interactions, especially in Thousand Year Door, were some of the best. I want to see her interacting with Kamek. Yes. That weird flying thing. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful Koopa with a beautiful name. Hi, Cammy. <laughs> and, you know, Bowser could have, you know, just completely one yeah. by holding on to just one of the star spirit cards. Yep. <laughs> um, I just fixed that gate. <laughs> Did you say gate to me? every other week. <laughs> yeah, it must be a Tuesday. <clears throat> every Bowser. second in this world, Peach has been captured by Bowser. So they go go for some right, and Bowser's go like, it. so I'll schedule in for a Wednesday kidnapping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah nice and um, Paper Jam, like at the uh, beginning, what, like they, they hear Bowser's roar. And one peach goes, oh, it's this part of the story again. <laughs> and then the other peach just goes, ugh, not again. Oh my god, that's nope. so good. Gate, 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 gate. Gates. Upon gates. Bill Gates. More like build gates. Ah, <laughs> I love this. Funny. Mario's gonna have so many concussions after all of this. Mm -hmm. Throw 
at least he would if he wasn't paper. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> I hear about this. Okay, here's another zero star market that's even wilder. <laughs> I must ask, why? Yay, one coin, we're so rich. Congratulations! One. You got the frickin' thing? Do the, the thing. Do the thing! <laughs> then why aren't you doing that? Are you just not gonna do the thing? How she oh. lost the dolly. <laughs> and how did it get in that tree? Did she like throw it she, off? The her hole? her playing is wild. <laughs> yeah. Trust me. What? I'm a doctor. Uh -huh. I searched this bush. Forget it. What? What are you? T what are you doing, Clem? This video that I just like just being wild because it's. Be, uh, beating one of the stars of Mario 64, where you have to collect a bunch of coins in the air with zero A presses. But basically, something of like using Mario's hat as a dimensional portal and like creating and cloning a bunch of Goombas to create a staircase so you can just bounce off them and collect all the coins. What? Yeah, it's all done in Mario 64. It's too I think you're obviously. But... Time for. I think you're a fucking liar. Recurring little shit. <laughs> Infinite recurrence, you say? <laughs> Clem, infinite recurrence, you, you say? <laughs> I wish I had timed hits. And, and the tapping match begins. <laughs> now what, fam? Robots. Robots. Did your robot slow up? I like the little victory jingle with Paper Mario. Yes, we Superstar point? I don't know, man. I don't want to be back. No little stacky pose he does is when you're, uh, win a battle. Mario has a lot of good sprites in this one. Everyone has a lot of good sprites in this one. Yep. Except, uh, yeah, some of the partners are weird. Cooper looks a bit off, but... A little bit. Everyone looks off. <laughs> Bo looks very cute, though. It's interesting that female boos have, like, a unique facial expression to them. You know they're awesome. Yep. The hammer will jump. 
Yay, first strike. Yay! 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 When I do get to Mario, though, I will be tattling every enemy. Good. Well, well, Mario is pretty plain, but I loved uh, Goombella's path. I didn't appreciate her much the first time I played, but I, when I replayed, I was like, "Wow, you're a really good character." Replaying, <laughs> she's so much better. Yep. I guess they did want to ease you into the battle system here. Yeah, that's one thing that I usually kills me when, uh, well not kills me, but just I don't mind much when, uh, replaying Paper Mario and that's the fact that it takes you a while to get action commands. Isn't that lovely? The Mario RPG, you got him right away, and then Thousand Year Door, you had him right away, but here it's, they just, I guess, want to introduce him. Well, Clem, don't you know? Don't you know? Don't you know a thing about game design? What Claire, do you feel about the games of video? Actually, did Paper Mario 1 even have a um, defensive action command? I think so. Okay. I know it didn't have the invincible super guard of pressing B, but I forget if it had a basic defensive one or not. I think it did. Yeah, oh, I, yeah, I think, think it did. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 The super guard is good. It's good. It's hard to do, because you need to be like almost frame perfect sometimes. But if you're good at it, you can basically do a no damage run of Thousand Year Door. Danger Mario, basically. Really it, it's it's a lot of what already. makes Danger Mario possible. The danger! Because you danger. pretty much do need to be no damage if you're going danger. The danger! Danger! It's Mario! When you're touched, you die. But you kill ev everything, including bosses and like two attacks. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Yeah, isn't that just pretty? Isn't that just precious? I'm watching this thing while playing this other thing. This is important. Of course, I have her rally back. <laughs> hey, Clem! Yeah? It's not Jonathan. It's Dio Giorno. Dio Giorno. <laughs> I study self-defense by reading books and listening to Dad and Goomba. I, 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 Bad what? It's not really much uh, training there. You seem like the perfect that. one to take on an adventure. He's wearing a hat and everything. What is this, TF2? He's wearing a hat! Come, I'm wearing a hat and you don't see me. I don't hear you could explain me about it. Hooray, we got a badge. Yay! You only need seven more and then you can challenge Pokemon League. <laughs> See, with great yes, badges, horrible, bad. no, no, I do not need a quick lesson on badges. No, I don't need a lesson on badges. <laughs> Stop telling me no. stuff. You realize you're still a newbie to these Mario RPGs. Did you just call me a newbie to Mario RPGs? I was being sarcastic, you young cop. 
Shut up, you dumb monster. I have bad things to do with my time. You are no longer a child. He says, the child. You are up. now a super child. Now go out, buy your own house, and pay rent and all that stuff. Super you child? You are 10 years old. It's Sounds time for you to go save the world. From evil You are no longer guys. a child. Now go throw yourself at Bowser. Pretty much. That bomb for great justice. Come on, Gore, let me cut your tail off. Let your country control your mind. Let your country control your soul. to say about this fair little village? Destroy. What is this about this fair little village? This is Goomba Village. My it's home, it sucks. Get me out of here. Tamlet has too much boring and not enough burning. Yeah, you gotta get those nuts. To quote my favorite Final Fantasy villain. I, I like how his dad just accepts that his son's going on to an adventure now. Maybe they all went on adventures. Maybe they helped the royal family. That would explain so much if so little. I'm sure he's just like, fuck it, red and free. What were you doing first? Save really quick. You save this child on You adventure. will save. Beware of Goombas. No. <laughs> Beware of Goombas. Turn around and hit Goombario. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the sign told me to beware. Well, be oh, well. Same to me. Those are what you call small fries. Actually, they're the pretty much the smallest of fries. <laughs> Wait, I'm one of them. <laughs> well, it's better to be a small fry than anything at all, really. The great thing about Tattle is it just like then shows you the health of any of the enemies you come across. Ouch. Rara Rasputin, lover of the Russian queen. You just wake up. What? You sound like a man that just woke up. I am always woken up. I, am the, I always sound like that. What are you talking about? Alright. In bat. Well, have you ever danced in Devil in the Pale Moonlight? Have you spoken so with the owl? Once you have a um, partner. Yep. And then once you get action commands. Action. They're command like commands. They give you actions. We're gonna learn about time tits. Oh. Remember, only you can prevent forest fires and virus outbreaks. Yeah, do 
I mean, it doesn't make sense yet. But it will. It will. It will be. Yeah. Probably should have killed one Goomba first, though. Shut up, Yoda. I want to hear it. What if I don't want to be Mr. Owl? Can I actually equip that one badge that I have? Yes, I can. Probably should have done that already. <laughs> I like to say about the moon and the moon and the springer. I like to sing out. Give them helmets made of spinies and Mario Maker. That'd be kind of cool. Leaf Force. This is Spike Goombas. Well, I guess in terms of platformers, they'd be functionally identical to spinies, but. No, but you see, they could lose the helmets. Oh, uh, yeah. If you hit a power block or something. Yeah, if you hit a power block or ground pounded near them. Hmm, yeah. Is what? Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Did you know there are good Goombas and bad Goombas? <laughs> a bad Goomba will try to pick a fight with the second it spots us. There are no bad Goombas, only bad trainers. Coughing was right. Coughing was the philosopher of our time. Coughing is a philosophy, Dingbat. After all, you made Smogon. <laughs> How do you even live without hidden power, Clem? Very easily. In case you're wondering what that unearthly screaming is, it's a giant black dragon. I didn't. Even here, any. You neither. Good. My mic is is the strongest people seem to want me to think. Well, that hurts. Finally, a battle that actually gave me a heart. Yay! Yeah, that was so necessary. I like that hearts and flowers have different um, sounds when you pick them up. Close call badge. Oh well. I said it's 2020. Pseudo danger, Mario. Oh yeah, the inexplicably red Super. blue Goomba. Which, when you're rematching, is one shot kill, which is fun. You gotta smack him with the nut. I like that a couple times in this game, I don't think any of the other Paper Mario's that enemies actually have lowered health when the battle starts to reflect previous damage they've taken. I like that. Yeah, it's like during this fight and one of the Junior Trooper fights, it's a cute touch. Cute touch. Well, this one, I'm gonna have to fight Gore again. Lovely. 
He who gores and runs away lives to gore another day. Yeah, strange attacks. In glorious combat. Against Goomba. <laughs> Goomba's the most Goomba's dangerous of Mario's right enemies. The but they're red. And, and red blue. One's a team Aqua Goomba, one's a team Magnum Goomba. To be fair though, Goombas probably have killed the most Mario's ever. Uh, just, think think about it, yeah. just think of that first Goomba. Yeah. I mean, statistically, like, probably a lot of people that play the game are gonna suck, so, yeah. So you get killed by a Goomba. Remember, one of them ended Mario frustration. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Goombas! Goombas! I'm gonna heal after that battle. Give them the respect they deserve. What well, respect? The fact that they're giant mushrooms? Yeah. Giant walking mushrooms with shoes. If the backstory in Super Mario Bros. 1 to be, is to be believed, they're all traitors. This mushroom is a trap. What then? If the backstory in Super yep. Mario Bros. 1 is to be believed, they're all traitors. Well. That says a lot about them. Like they used to live in the Mushroom Kingdom, but then something Bowser, and now they work for him. Something Bowser. My favorite backstory of all time. They serve the strongest side. That's all they've ever known. I do like that in the um, second Paper Mario, you can have your uh, party members take damage for you too. Yes. Oh yeah, the way... One thing I don't like about the first is that the way partners take damage is really stupid. Where instead of logically having their own health, they get stunned for a certain number of turns. I feel like the perspective changes. Yeah, I do, oh yeah. I do remember that got really annoying in the Koopa Bros Fortress, where for some reason my guys started getting stunned a lot. Ah, the stream became choppy on the Skype thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The screen sharing. Yeah. The screen sharing thing. Maybe the yes. uh, perspective change was too intense to render. Oh no, it um, just says uh, someone's know, internet connection is affecting the call. So. Oh, I have a bet. I have a bet. Hey guys, I, I think I know who did it. Yeah. My stupid internet. Yeah. Uh, Fuck my stupid internet. Just gonna restart it. Just to remember where stupid the heck internet. It is. Okay, there we go. Hey, look, Mario, see that building over there? You know, the one we're right in front of? See that building? I see no building. What the? It's pretty subtle. Goombas. I like the Goomba King music. Where that they renamed him to Goombas anytime he showed up again? What was with that? What was with that? Yeah, oh yeah, he's another, technically another, um, Paper Mario character that's appeared outside the series because he was in Mario 64 DS and Mario Kart DS. I wonder if Chief Chili will ever re make the reappearance. Never uh, about. I always remember him as yep. the Goomba King. Exactly. Goomba is weird. Goomba sounds dumb. Man, though, he must have a hard time seeing. Oh, now you know what to do. Smack him with your giant spiky knife. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Yeah, they one shot them. What else one shot people? A hammer to the skull. Surprisingly, a lot of people didn't know about the one shot trick. Remember when they did it during um, Game Done Quick, a lot of people were surprised. Gee, Clem, you're such a fount of knowledge. Which one shot trick? The hitting the boom that tree. Can he has that much HP actually. as Mario, that's pretty durable. One thing I like about Mario RPGs after the original Mario RPGs, there's some of the few RPGs out there that actually have really low numbers. 
Oh, they're not doing anything in hundreds of dollars either. Until you actually well, so... mentioned it. Yep. Well then. Now you know. Yeah, if you hit the Goomnut tree right at the start of the battle, the nut will kill both the red and blue Goombas instantly. Wow. Yep. If I would have known that, I wouldn't have, um... <laughs> Wasted the fire flower. Yeah. Yep. There we go. There you go. Now you know a new trick. I know it. That's the battle. If you want to keep the fire flower, you can just reload your last save, whatever that was. I think that was way back in the Goomba Village, so... No, there was one, like, right before this, but... Uh, there was one right before. Uh, it's pretty really low, but I don't think it's worse. It could, but you won't. Let's see... HP, FP, or BP? Um... Usually I go BP. I normally go HP, but... Usually I think I BP, go HP. BP, I notice, tends to be the most important to a lot, because you can technically... If you use those hard up or flower up badges, you can turn an a, a BP boost into any of the other boosts. I usually go um, HB first, though. Yeah. Yeah, you are rather low. True. Considering right now, so. Well, I guess it's it's easier to avoid pouring everything into HP and thousand your door when you do have that perfect guard. Mm. And yeah, I guess in Paper Mario One, you want to bump that HP. I love stuff. this. A Goomba, you're so positive that you hit this much well, right? Oh, yeah, First thing you I hit it in the grass outside the fortress. Outside the... You idiot, you didn't hide it in here? Or you will find it for sure. <laughs> <laughs> What's the actual... Oh, looky what we just found. Looky, looky! <laughs> <laughs> if I just try to search somewhere, you should definitely not press it. It's dangerous, <laughs> understand. Like this part? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I like that the castle just f falls apart. I like yeah. how it falls apart. Oh, Why do we even have that lever? <laughs> And why is that beautiful? Oh, the lever cronk! Bong? And why is my beautiful rocket ship lifting up? Looks like Team Goomba did not survive the lightning. Um, why is my beautiful rocket ship lifting up in the deep space? And Mario pushed the dying button! Fuck that. I'm actually going to equip that badge. I keep forgetting to equip. No, that's uh... Now kill a unearthly little fuckwit. What are you doing? Well, I know you're doing Monster Hunter, but... Well, you know which one. No. Here's it, it's big, black, I'll start a purplish black. Can I grab you? No! Bigger black talk? No! A fatalis? I don't know. I'm starting I'm to find out oh, you dingbat. Ah, um, Gognazia. I. 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 I have no words. Mighty King Bastard. I don't know. I've been moving for you. For you. My kick Let's report to his evilness. No, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to kill Clem. Rip. Wow, that says a lot on you, Clem. Oh, uh, Gormagula. Yes, I'm fighting the big guy! These animations are some of the best for us. They are. Huh? The animations of doom! Paper Jam does have intermissions, although they're not playable, unfortunately. It does? Yeah, but they have like a little bit where it cuts to Bowser's castle and shows what's going on.
I love the Koopa Bros. I do wish we would see them again. <laughs> After the royal thrashing they received on this one. It's cool, it's so cool. Are <laughs> sure these guys can get the job done? <laughs> he who goes and runs away lives the ball another day. They have the power of teamwork. And Michael Bay explosions. Michael Bay explosions. Truly a horrifying force. Well, their boss fight does have, uh... Increased amounts of explosives and nitro mech in it, I guess you could say. <laughs> you know, just what are they showing? <laughs> They're Magnum Dog! <laughs> That's why I'm keeping this on the screen, because this could be very useful for later. <laughs> I actually I haven't given up I haven't given up that already. Send it to me. Alright. Okay. How'd you like it, King Bowser? How was it? Oh, I yeah. think Excellent. actually what they were showing is that stacking attack, which is only moderately dangerous. Yeah, probably. But without the context, it's uh, hilarious. They're Magnum Dong. <laughs> Here, I put it in the thing. <laughs> Let it go, Clem. Koopa Bros are good at their uh. job. No one else is very good at the job, me. Oh, it was me. I am not going to get this music out of my head for a long time. <laughs> Good. What are you gonna get? What music? Uh, um, Overworld for Paper Mario. No, magical. I'm waiting for this giant. Oh, goody. I think I didn't really need hammer throw yet. Why did I do that? Then why did I do the fucking thing? Oh, shit. Let's go see Luigi if I can jump on the dang boat pipe. <laughs> Luigi's just at home singing. That's cute. And then you ruin his day! <laughs> oh, oh, by breaking the block that he's sitting on, and then reading his diary, and then making fun of him. No, no, we're not going to ruin his day just yet. Oh yeah, yeah, that's when you get the super hammer, I think. What is ruining a day, so Luigi? Ruin my day. Ruin my day? You're on an exciting adventure with Mario. Talk about unfair. <laughs> Why doesn't Luigi tag along? He's pretty because fine he with leaving it unguarded in other games. He has to the house. Who well, he is the guardian of the house. house. He's the secret guardian of the Mushroom Kingdom. Actually, I guess it would be pretty tempting for somebody to just, like, you know, raid Mario's house and take his stuff, I guess. Still have so many star pieces to collect. I do like their house, though. Yeah, it's quaint and Everything is a nice red and green. Yeah. Luigi built a secret basement. Secret I, basement. I like how the, um... What's the word I'm looking for? The layout of the house is the same in all the Paper Mario games. Yes. Although in Mario and Luigi, it's even more elaborate because they have a second floor and a working shower. A working shower. You see, yep. like it's 
Like it, like it makes a world of difference. Well, I mean, no house in Paper Mario seems to have running water. Yeah, those plumbers aren't doing their job. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Well, there's kind of a good reason for them to not have running water. They're all made of paper. Oh, I mean... <laughs> no, if they have running water, it would be just full of those freaking biter fish. <laughs> yes. Biter fish? In Thousand Year Door, whenever you fall into a body of water, there's like a freaking chain chomp like fish that bites you and oh, does that damage. Does fish. that thing even have an official name? I am going to look this up. Um, but I always thought it was funny how they even show up in like fountains and stuff and like bodies of water smaller than they are. I, I hate this star. And also, Grotus had a whole bunch of them in an aquarium. Oh, this is you for like the entire freaking game. Yeah, you need sushi, don't you? Yeah. Yep. And you can't just jump over the fence. Oh, those things are called nibbles. Nibbles. Such an adorable name for something so deadly looking. Nibbles, also called piranha, citation needed. Oh, oh yeah, Mario. Uh, if you tattle in Petalburg, Goomba says, The river's pretty, but fall in and nibbles will get you. Okay. It's terrifying, but they're even in, like, Petalburg. I love that they have an official um, name. Yep. Only gotten from one single tattle. Well, I mean, that's why support is such a piece of shit. It can't get, like, uh, economic support from the sea because the water is filled with these frickin' death piranhas with mechanical jaws. Mechanical jaws? I get Mario sailed there, so I don't frickin' know. Da -da 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 -da. Dun -dun. Dun -dun. What am I doing? I love the bulletin board too. <laughs> Especially the back of the bulletin board. <laughs> I'm scribbling on the back of the Just notice board. How <laughs> naughty. Oh my. <laughs> Evan, look at this. What? I, like how, I, I think in this game that also changes after every chapter, doesn't it? Yes. Okay, yeah. What is it, Clem? A dumb thing. Oh my god. <laughs> I love how evil these Koopa Bros toads look. Yep. Oh shit. No, it's just, they're just covered oh, in yeah, yeah, but it's fine. Gors, um, oh, gosh, wings for this. Oh, gosh, I love wings for this, so big. Forget, how do I get Merlin triggered? Oh, right, I have to go, um, completely forgot that I have to go to the Shooting Star Summit. I yeah. forgot the objective. Oops. <laughs> Gotta get the mission from the Star Spirit. I'm good at video games. Yeah. The most there we go, Gormag is... okay. is there a star piece around here? Yes. I wanna say yes. I remember where most of them are, except for the ones that are underground. Oh yeah, those are annoying. Thankfully, remember, is there a way to like detect those in this game, like sort of like Miss Mouse, or do you just kind of let stomp everywhere and see what panels flip? I believe you have to just let stomp everywhere. Therapy, this what important knowledge? plot that was explained in the uh, preview to the game. Which I don't think you streamed. I did not. I was kind of oh, we have to by reset. having to take in hours to set the thing up. 
So. Due to technical difficulties. Tentacle difficulties? Pretty much. It was so annoying. And it ended up being the simplest fix. Yep. Ah. Those are the worst things ever. Well, the Elgato software, I updated to the beta to check out the sound issues, new sound things. But that completely broke it when I tried to use it with Xplode, which is what I've currently got it set up with. So done and sold, oh, and then reinstalled the old version. Oh, Xplode deleted. It was a pain. I don't doubt it. Great help me, Obi-Wan Mario, you're our only hope. Yes, you are truly our only hope. There are no others, truly. Who gores and runs away, but one lives the gore and now the day. Time for Peach. Everyone's in prison. We're in prison, Peach. Okay. Overall, this one did have a pretty bleak storyline, though. If you think about it, everyone gets thrown in prison like that by Bowser. Bowser! But I think Super Mario RPG kind of has it beat still. Well, of course. Does have Smithy making his uh, world of weapons? We can make it a world of weapons. Nothing else. No wishes. Come on, Joe, don't you want a world full of weapons? Nah. I don't even want him. Isn't that what America is right now? Shots <laughs> fired. Unfortunately. So America is pretty much Smithy's playground. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. If only somebody could help Not me. Not a big one. Time to get Gord in the Megala. I do like Twink's little song here. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can do that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't do DSX mocking us. <laughs> right. <laughs> and if I did that, we wouldn't have a game to play, so. That would be beautiful, Vegeta. What use are you? This would all be simple if only we had a sack of potatoes.
Yay, you now get the time hit thingy. Finally. Have you seen the, the uh, concepts for that fan-made, like, Paper Mario 1 in HD? Yes. Yep, and how they made the controversial choice of replacing Twink with a Luma, which, honestly, I kind of like. It makes more sense. I didn't kind of draws that the whole Mario series together. I mean, the Star Kids are basically just Lumas anyway. <laughs> Star Kids. Yeah. Luma. Luma. Yes, I like the whole Twink is a Luma thing. Okay, actually, you can find out, I believe, about... Oh, yeah, the fortune teller. Yeah. Right, right. No, I don't forgot like about him. That cost money. How do you forget about the guy? I always forget, forget about, about the fortune teller. Clem, how do you forget about that? The guy. Huh? Rising badge. Mm, they only got any Pokemon, leave with them. Great Buddha's noodles. So many badges. Practice Buddhism. your wingy little shit. Finally action commands. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> no, you don't need to tell me about <laughs> action commands. Okay, great, I don't have to explain. <laughs> Loved how the no option actually doesn't tell you, uh... Yeah. Do you know about action commands? Mario nods. That Magikoopa, shit, shit, reverses, shit, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Would you like for me to repeat all that again? Fatality. Tell him yourself. saw my actions before I saw him. He saw your action commands? <laughs> my action command. Which is slicey dicey. I find it funny how like... 
part of the speed running is just like not <laughs> stop spinning. I think it's like spinning and hopping. <laughs> yeah, since the pit, they said that um, if you do a spin and you don't hop, um, there's like the end at the animation. You can't actually control it. Yeah, because look at it like slows you down yeah. like for a moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Holy crap, that is actually pretty fast. <laughs> Please, I'm sleeping in front of my house. Taking the Mario's RPGs, even though they were all different yep. every time. And then they just got these super cool and elaborate designs and super. They felt more related in the first two, though. Yeah. And that's the story of Kingdom Hearts. That Mario always falls asleep during long stories, though. Rude. <laughs> no, actually, so was Link. You could use the all night mask, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> that torture device. That's pretty funny. That actually is. Yeah, it said that, like, it was used as a torture device. <laughs> Actually, that would just straight up kill somebody if they were for too long. And you use it to listen to a kindly old grandma. Video games are wild. Jumped and he warped to the other side of the room. He gained up infinite speed. Just a little bad shop open. It's not for a while. Bad shop. Yeah. Oh yeah, I like how this like unfolds. Yeah, it doesn't actually happen for a while though. Okay. When can you start raising yeah, little links? Does that even have a Wait, purpose? Is that, is that, is that sort of to chocobos. Hmm? No, he can't actually do anything with them, but... Don't they give you items or something? I think so, I don't really remember. <coughs> I know it's at least after Chapter 2, I think, though. For the little links. Dojo's not open until later. The, uh, yeah. At least Mario can sleep everywhere for free. Well, they're actually nice in this game. Instead of, you know, trying to run a business. Time for chapter one. 
Well, I get running a business, but he's freaking Mario. It's that RPG trope. Adam Smith, uh, Adam Smith hates your guts. Oh yes, Adam Smith hates your guts. Yep. And he's one of my favorites. Back, let's read that because. Uh, uh. Knockdowns, oh, I gore. I killed gore. I didn't want to kill him. the timing for each game. Timing! Oh, Paper, Paper Mario's timing in Paper Jam has been throwing me off. Yeah, it's weird. Especially the hammer. I guess a different timing than the others. Yep. Yeah. Well, um, how he works is, um, he makes copies of himself, and depending on how many uh, copies, that's how many, um, timing guesses you can do. So. Yeah, like the the jump works a lot like the power balance in Paper Mario. So and that's easy to get used to the faster. hammer string because his he goes in front of every enemy because he can because he's split from the six. And then all of them raise their hammers in quick succession. And as soon as the last one raises his hammer, that's when you have to press the button. Well the last one has a um, sound cue but Yeah. Okay, because with the hammer, you used to like having to wait for a second after it's raised instead of just pressing it instantly. Okay. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah, his jumps have just been uh, throwing me off <laughs> for the one hour that I've played it so far. Yep. <laughs> You can see the rainbow monster. Um, can you see the rainbow monster? I can see the sun of wind. That's not my question. I like the timing a lot better in uh, Thousand Year Door. Yeah. Paper Mario 1 is very well crafted. Shows a tape sometimes, but. Obvious Goomba you can see. Yep. Right here. The very obvious Goomba. Truly a rare creature.
Capcom, good job. They fucked up on one of the helmets. Amazing. I'm not surprised that you stole Hey, Cooper. What was that? What I was surprised for? Oh, uh, I w was looking at the other stream. Er. Uh, ah, never mind. <sighs> okay, time to take a break from this stupid game. That's right, I gotta prepare for tomorrow. I have to go on a walk in the winter wasteland. Ah. Uh, we have multiple pairs of socks. That's what I do. In this kind of a... See, I got a thin pair. Then I got a thick pair. It's foolproof. Don't get dizzy when you touch them. Two completely different enemies in the same series, both named Fuzzy. I prefer those fuzzies. <laughs> Ones that like never reappeared. Yes. One's the Mario World ending, isn't it? Yep. Nice. One of 
another thing that I think um, Thousand Euro did better was the pacing for when you get partners. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Because you get, you get two of them in this chapter, which is weird, and then you get, like, none in the later chapters. Oh, no, actually, oh, the, that was a new door, actually. It's so long since I've uh, played Thousand Year Go Door. <laughs> I think I need to replay it now. Actually, no, the last one you get, I mean, part of Thousand Year Door is Chapter 5. Here you go, I'm at Chapter 6, so. But still, getting two in one chapter is interesting. There's something that lets you have naked Cooper for the whole game. Well, knowing the internet, they probably made a mod or a patch. Probably. That's really annoying. I don't remember if you get anything for saving all of their shells. Can you even progress if you don't get all the shells? I think so. No, you just need to get uh, Coopers. Okay. I just like trying to do it. Hmm? I like being a good person. Well, hopefully that rumored uh, Paper Mario has badges. We need stinking badges. I'm just looking for um, the badge arcade. Hoping for partners. I'm just hoping we get the badges in the badge arcade. Oh, yes. I have no idea what one is on. 
And I can't help you because um, the Skype call one was uh, laggy, well, oh choppy, God. so... No. You must use your own skills. Think. It's a Cooper! Okay. Back. Welcome back. Sheep. Yeah. Actually, yeah, I pretty much used it just like those set. Yeah, I figure why not this time. Fortress. Alright. And then probably continue tomorrow. Okay. Probably worth it this 
miss that one. Mm -hmm. I don't really remember healing being much of an issue in this game. Oh, yes, yeah, that's why I'm not buying like any mushrooms or anything. It's just compass. Something like around here, though. <laughs> Yeah. Right. I heard what the plans are for tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Coopers. We'll see what happens. The Fortress of Cooper's Bros. Well, I wonder if it started an hour, at least an hour earlier than I did tonight, but... Technical difficulties. <laughs> Tentacle, eh? Updates happened. Yeah. Tentacle difficulties. Magical. Hey Clam, did you hear the Pokemon events? What Pokemon events? The Mew giveaway being back. What is? It's a serial number. Well, not just that, they're gonna be held by GameStop. What are the Ooh, EB. Mm. That was terrible. <laughs> I like that the Paper Mario series distinguished the good Koopas from the bad Koopas because bad Koopas wore sunglasses. And are red. And have that Not a color. Oh, yeah. Although Fem. I have a um, sticker star, they no longer do that. Fem. Not only that, they wear... Not only that, well, they were communist kids. Yep. So you know they're gonna fucking die. Well, in Super, they kind of distinguished about, like, I think the wild Koopas look normal, and the ones that served under Bowser 
had their sunglasses. And then in Sticker Star and Paper Jam, they're just all green with no sunglasses. You ruined my joke. I, I know they're common as sunglasses. That's why they're gonna fucking die. It wasn't Yoko's fault, it was the glasses. Yoho. Yoho? Oh, Keytown didn't have him. He had the hair. Mm, must be cool. Clem, have you drunk the Kool-Aid again? Kool-Aid, you know this. Those two level up, man. Clearly, you didn't know action command. Oh. Should have uh, watched that tutorial then. <laughs> Should have. Oh! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's a burn. A third degree burn, to be exact. Twink wins in the end. <laughs> well, keep in mind with the virtual console, there is that slight button lag. Yeah, there's a there's a slight button lag. Yeah. Oh, expletive deleted. Level up. This time, FP for sure. Yeah. Yeah, so you have uh, more of the special attacks. Mm -hmm. And then I'll do DP next time, I think. Usually, I actually like to keep my HP and FP around somewhere even. Mm hmm. That's what I do. <laughs> Maybe I should go to slap. Maybe. I think this is a good place to uh, end it too. <laughs> Especially seeing as my gamepad is currently flashing and being annoyed. Oh, you don't always have it plugged in? Not right now. Mm -hmm. Why do you do that? Don't why don't I'm you just do like that? Just like on the support. <laughs> but I think that's a uh... save states. Yeah, why not? That's a wrap. Yeah, I did, however, make a um... look at them gifts on the interlude screen. Oh my god. Oh my I mean, god. For the most part, you keep, Paper Mario you kept, theme. You have, you, you, have like this, you have like the 600 FPS Bowser. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that bottom middle one from that anime movie? I think so. With the weird anime Luigi? The weird anime up. Luigi. <laughs> 
Um, and I don't know if you've heard it though, but the um, loading music. I have not heard it. What is it? Um, I'll Yo, it to you after. people. But um, for anyone who tuned in, thank you for coming. Thank I you. will continue some Paper Mario tomorrow, hopefully.